welcome back. Today is day 17 postpartum for me and daddy's back at work so we have a little bit less freedom, a little bit less time, but I did manage to just go for a half an hour walk uh, with little Miss Lily here in the boba wrap. She didn't like her car seat too much at this point so I just opted for the easier route and she made it most of the way without crying but we did have a little bit of a cry so now we're back home and she's being pretty quiet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, my strength training. And we just did three sets of 20 bridges and two sets of 10 of the march with the leg extension. We also did squats when we were outside walking. So I did three sets of 20 squats. Um, so you guys can join me here for the bridges and a little bit of the marching. And then we're gonna do some upper body as well. So just to refresh your memory, I'm gonna bring the camera over. We are doing bridges. So we're tightening the abdomen rolling up and down two you can go ahead and pause the video and finish your sets and the next thing we'll do is the march and I'll show you a little bit of an advancement that um, I'm doing so you're going to feel for that transverse abdominis, you're going to breathe in, and then extending the leg out, keeping that belly button pulled down, feeling for any diastasis. You can see I don't have any tenting or anything there, and I can feel that I don't have any um, overexertion of my rectus abdominis. There's no split happening, which actually was happening the first time I tried to do these, So, um, but the past few days I've been able to progress to the leg extension. So you're just extending as far out as you can without having any negative uh, impact on your abdominal muscles. So you're lifting, extending, in and down. We'll do one more repetition and then you can pause the video and go ahead and finish as many reps as you're comfortable doing on your own. So little Miss Lily's starting to fuss a little bit, so we'll see how much upper body stuff we can get through. Um, I've got my little weights over here, so I'm just going to grab those. And again, I'm going to do about five sets with you guys, and then you can pause the video. Um, I'm sorry, five reps. You can pause the video and continue on your own. But my goal is to do three sets of 20 um, before this one stops me. <laughs> so here we go. So we're going to start with bicep curls, which we've done before. So we're going to stand up nice and tall, draw that belly button in, shoulders back. Just gonna curl. Two, three, four, five. and we're gonna do tricep kickbacks, which you probably remember. And extending back. some shoulder abductions for our deltoids and rotator cuff. Two, and again, I'm using a five pound weight, but if you need to drop down to two or three for this one, there's nothing wrong with that. Four, five, and shoulder flexions. Today, we'll do some rotator cuff. Two, three, four, five. And we'll do a little bit of triceps overhead. Two, three, four, five. So, we had some upper body, we had some lower body. And we already did our squats when we were out for our walk. So if you haven't done those yet, go ahead and do your squats. We did straight squats and we also did PA squats today with the knees and feet pulled out. So I'm going to take care of my little one here and you guys can continue your workout. Thanks for joining me again today and I hope this has uh, inspired you um, for today and I'll see you next time.